Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to another lightning talk. Many of the day, there have been lots of exciting ones. Today, we're going to be talking about um, giving you a brief introduction to the CNCF storage tank and what we are, and a little bit uh, of information around the cloud uh, native storage landscape. So, a little bit about us. So, who is the storage tank? So, my name is Alex Kirkup. I'm a co chair. Raffaele uh, Spazzoli is, is another co chair. Um, come and meet us if you want to ask questions. The TAGs are technical advisory groups. We have uh, a number of open meetings every, uh, every second and fourth Wednesday of the month. We have our own repo, and you can see our agenda and, and, and join our conferences, uh, our conference calls. All of our calls are open and, and membership is open. So what do the TAGs do? We, we are a big bunch of people, so uh, vendors, projects, independent contributors, um, and we, um, uh, we're, we're everywhere on the spectrum from early adopters to, to leaders and SMEs in our space. But effectively, we're, we provide a community for the storage space where you can learn, get advice, find out about projects in the, in the cloud native ecosystem, and also help to contribute. We have a number of co-chairs and we have a number of tech leads. We're always looking for new members, whether uh, as individual contributors or to join in, in a more formal capacity. And what's the purpose of the tag? So uh, the tags are in place to allow, us, allow the CNCF to scale. So tags were set up a few years ago, back in 2019. They were initially called CNCF SIGs, uh, but then they were renamed the tags to avoid the confusion. Um, and, the main, and the main point here is, as the CNCF continues to grow, and we have more projects, both in sandbox, incubating, and graduated, the TOC needs the ability to, to scale with the number of projects. And so what, we, what the tags do is we provide um, a group of people that provides SME uh, expertise to the TOC to, to allow us to scale to enable all the new proje projects. So what does it mean in real life? Well, there are four things that we focus on. The first is uh, educating end users, and, and we do that by working together as a community to provide um, white papers and, and other uh, documents that help with, to help with the understanding of the technology. We help the TOC to review projects as they go through the due diligence and they go through the graduation phases within the, within the CNCF. Um, we, we obviously engage with the user community. We um, give advice and provide um, a, a, a platform for them to uh, do pr project presentations and to find out more about the projects in the ecosystem. And of course, we're there to, to be able to ask questions and provide that subject matter expertise in our field. So why should we be thinking about cloud native storage? And why should you be thinking about this? Um, I'll come out and say it, it's a little controversial, but there's no such thing as a stateless architecture. We always have, um, we always have state somewhere, right? There's, there's, all applications are going to be storing states, whether it's in a database, a key value store, a file system, an object store, block storage, whatever it is. And those applications need, can, and the stateful workloads can now have the benefit of all the patterns and architecture that we've developed in the cloud native world. So they can benefit from the failover, the scaling, the automatic healing, et cetera, that, that we've seen from all of the stateless workloads. And in fact, the CNCF already has a number of very large projects um, which are part of the uh, part of the ecosystem, both as graduated and incubating projects. Some of the graduated projects include uh, Rook, which uh, provides a, an operator for the, for the management and deployment of uh, Ceph instances, so this gives you block, file, and, and object uh, storage. There is Vitesse, which is a very large-scale scale-out uh, SQL uh, clustering uh, solution, uh, originally from a YouTube background and, and now part of uh, PlanetScale. We've got Harbor, which uh, provides a, a, a repo for your containers and is a, and is a secure store for those containers. Um, of course, there's etcd, and I'm sure you're all familiar with etcd as such a core component of every uh, Kubernetes cluster and provides 
that robust key value store for, for the state in, in Kubernetes. And along a similar line, TIKV, which, which provides a scale-out uh, key value store to, to allow uh, databases and, and, and other functions to, to scale out within Kubernetes. There are also a number of incubating projects which are particularly exciting. Dragonfly, which, which allows you to um, provide a, 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 a caching and acceleration layer for, for your uh, images. Uh, CubeFS, which is a very powerful scale-out file system uh, that can run in Kubernetes as well. Um, and Longhorn, uh, which provides uh, a way, a, a distributed uh, block storage solution that, that, that allows you to create block storage uh, on the fly in, in a hyper-converged or, or hybrid manner. Um, these, of course, are not all the projects in this space. These are just the projects that the CNCF uh, has uh, that and is looking after. Um, and you'll see the links there to, 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 to have a, a look at some of the um, sandbox projects in particular, which, which are new experimental projects that are, that are growing in this space. So we talked a little bit about the education. I'm not going to go through all of the details, but these are some of the links for some of the interesting white papers. All of them will be found on our repo as well. The storage white paper provides a way of uh, understanding the attributes and the layers within a storage system so that we can understand attributes like availability and failover and scalability and durability, etc., um, and understand how those apply to your applications and the impacts that each of those layers in the storage system have on the performance and availability of your applications. We have the Data on Kubernetes white paper, which provides a lot of useful information and is, and is um, a collaboration with the, with the DOK team uh, to provide patterns on how you use databases. Uh, in Kubernetes, and we've also got the Cloud Native Disaster Recovery paper, which provides uh, all of the which, which describes the advantages of moving to a cloud native way of doing disaster recovery, um, and providing the active active uh, failovers and the automation. And of course, there are many more. And if you want to find out more, we have a full session on uh, Wednesday at half past two. We'd love to see some of you there, and if you have any more questions, we're, we'll also be there to take your questions there. Um, finally, please consider joining the TAG and, and helping contribute to, to the Cloud Native ecosystem. Feel free to join our meetings. We obviously value any presentations in this space um, around you know, the management of storage, but also you know, block file system, object, key value stores. Uh, databases, anything really that, that, that's involved in, in uh, storage in the cloud native world. And finally, consider a role in the tag. We'd love to hear more from you. If you have any questions, we'll be around uh, or we can meet on Wednesday. There we go. I think I did it exactly in time.